Here are another 10 Marvel movie details you might have missed. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, at the start of the movie, you can see a tiny red handkerchief in Doctor Strange's chest pocket. This is actually the Cloak of Levitation because if you look when Strange changes his clothes, he grabs the cloak from the same pocket. Thank you. In Thor Ragnarok, during the fight between Thor and Hulk, there's this scene. Thor punches Hulk so hard that it creates a shockwave. This must have been a very strong punch since even the cameraman shakes a little. In Captain America Civil War, when Tony fights Cap, his targeting system gets damaged. Targeting system's knackered, boss. Am I balling it? To prevent this from happening again, Tony now adds a homing mechanism to his missiles so they will always hit their target. My only curse is you. In the ending of Thor Ragnarok, notice that when Loki walks in front of Hulk, he gets a little angry. So, King This is because the last time Hulk saw Loki before Ragnarok was during the events of Avengers, where Loki caused massive destruction. But I will not be bullied by- <laughs> In Avengers Endgame, when Hulk wears the gauntlet, you can see that only the right side of his body is glowing. Compare that to when Tony gets his hands on all the Infinity Stones, and you can see light reaching the other side of his body. This is because Tony made his whole suit act as a gauntlet to contain the stone's power since his body is not enhanced unlike Hulk and Thanos. In Avengers Endgame, when Hawkeye did the test for time travel, do you know the reason Banner put a timer in his suit instead of the same dial they used in the actual mission? Well, Banner knew that when Barton met his family again in the past, he might choose not to come back. This is also the same thing Steve did at the end when he didn't return. I don't want to set the world on fire. In Spider-Man No Way Home, when Doctor Strange separates Peter's astral form from his body, Peter's spidey sense is still active and able to move independently. From your physical form. My physical? What? How are you doing that? I have no idea. Should you not be able to do that? If you look closely, you can actually see the spidey sense of Peter showing up in his astral form. This is also how it appears in comics. In Spider-Man No Way Home, remember this scene. Oh, my back. That's good. This is actually a reference to this scene. In Avengers Endgame, when the Avengers time travel to the past, look at this scene. If you notice, when Tony lands here, look at his feet. You can see that the nanotech has been removed from his feet first. This is so Tony can land more quietly. This level of detail proves how much effort the animators put into this movie. In Iron Man 2, when Tony is in his workstation and Pepper visits him, he does this. Boy Scouts of America! Yes, it is a worthwhile organization. I didn't physically check the crates, but... If you look closely, you can see that it increases his points, but there are also other points displayed, indicating someone else was playing with Tony before. Many people think it's Rhodey, but I think these points are from Pepper since we all know she likes playing with Tony's balls. Are you out of your mind? Better security!